bug out moto hey folks if you missed a tour of my bug out moto van click below to watch now or click on the link in the description section I went to the I got on Crossroads, starring Ralph Macchio. Awesome movie, classic movie. I'm not watching the movie, I'm actually listening to it. I put it on for my dog, Skitter Diddles. Hey Skittles! Skittles! Say something Skittles! Yeah Skittles! She likes to hear the TV, keeps her calm. But I tell you guys, I'm headed to the crossroads, baby. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm just going. On the road, somewhere. But uh, I have no idea, man, I'll tell you. A couple, of few places that I have in mind, I'd love to go head out to Wyoming. However, I don't know about the weather because it's late September, early October. The weather is kind of, uh, sketchy at this time of the year you know what i'm saying in the mountains they actually close down a lot of areas up there uh you know near yellowstone so i don't know if that's a good place to go i'm thinking maybe uh maybe utah i want to go to a different state this time i actually had one to go to montana but that far up north i know it's the weather's probably not not that great i don't want to go freeze my ass off you know it's gonna be cold enough you know, in the mountains, even if I go to Colorado, uh, let alone the northern states. But I'm thinking maybe Utah. I've never been to Utah before. I always saw Utah as, as like an extension of Colorado. That's what it seemed like to me. I don't know. But they got... And I always think of the polygamists. <laughs> the state for the polygamists out there. The, the Mormons. The polygamist Mormons, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm ignorant on that. You know, it's just the shit you hear on TV and stuff. But, I don't know, somewhere out in the Rocky Mountains, I thought about maybe even heading out to the, the West Coast, you know, heading out to the ocean there, you know, Oregon. And I have a cousin, actually, that lives out there. I'm, but I don't know if I want to go that far, though. Really, I just want to go to the mountains, and I want to head up to some MX parks. I definitely is going to hit up an MX park on this trip. Some, a few of them I'd like to that's the goal we'll see I want to go to uh, camp out of some government land free camping I'm gonna do some boondocking you know slip in some places and stay overnight in some hotels and shit in the parking lot go in the bathroom and get some free water <laughs> some of you guys mentioned you like cycle cruising man why don't you bring a woman why don't you go with somebody why 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 do you like going alone? I tell you guys, if you look way back into my videos, like uh, deep way back into my videos, I actually have a video up of me and my ex, and we were on a trip, and we were like, you know, you know, back and forth with, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, a disagreement. And I tell you guys that traveling with a woman. Sometimes I'm not all women out there like that, but some the women that I've been with and travel with, went on trips with girlfriends or with exes. I tell you guys, our or family members that were female, they whine, nag, bitch. You know they gotta stop every damn all the time taking peas, and, and they're tired of driving, and just it's it's annoying. I like getting out here just by myself being free and doing what the fuck I want to do, man. Not hearing no whining and nagging and shit. Let's go where the fuck I want to go anytime, man. And I tell you guys, I meet a lot of people out here on the road. Unfortunately, I wish for last year, I wish I would have included a lot of people that I met in my video, but I, I didn't want to, I was like kind of hesitant to ask them if they wanted to be in a video because not everybody wants to be on YouTube, you know, man. Um, I met this one guy I met uh, when I went up Pikes Peak. I met him when I came down. He was he rode his uh, mountain bike up Pikes Peak and he's a traveling doctor and he traveled all through the United States with a, a Subaru 
Outback type of vehicle, whatever. It was a Subaru, like station wagon, 4x4, all-wheel drive. And he had his, his mountain bike in the back of, the, of his uh, car, you know. And he traveled all through the United States as a doctor. He said he loved it, and it was it was all he was a cool guy I met, man. I, and I met uh, the owner of the RV park. I sat there and talked to him for hours. Awesome guy, man. I hope he's still alive. I have to check in on him because uh, he was supposed to. Get, he had a bunch of surgeries. He's getting some other type of surgery. He had cancer, or some shit, and he had. I mean, he had a bunch of stuff, and he was lucky to be alive. His kids. He said his kids won't come out and visit him. They don't. You know, their wives won't. I, I don't know if they must not like him or something. They won't invite him over uh, because the wife doesn't like him. Maybe he said something. I don't know, man. It's crazy. I felt really bad for him. The guy was the nicest guy you would ever meet. And I'll tell you, I want, I, you know, I was hesitant to ask him if he wanted to be on camera. But this trip, I'm actually going to ask people if they want to be on camera. And I'm going to try to try to get some people on camera if, if, if it pans out that way. But uh, yeah, I love meeting people, man. I'm not this anti-social dude that I don't, because you guys seeing, you know, a lot of my videos, it's just me doing videos. If you look in there though, I've met strangers. I had strangers in my videos. I've, um, you know, I've, I've uh, I love getting people on camera. I think it's funny, man. But I love meeting people out there on the road. I met a ton of bikers out there, man, that I just had, didn't get on film. One guy, he had a, um, Ah, I forgot what was that called? A Yamaha. It was a Yamaha Cruiser, like a Warrior. Or so, I forgot the name of it. They don't make that uh, model anymore. But he had it. He had it on um, hydraulics. It was sick, man. I wish. And I'm kicking my ass right now. Why I didn't get that on on film? I didn't even think to ask him. I was just got caught up in talking with him, and I sat on his. He had me sit on his bike and stuff. And I didn't get video on it. It's like a lot of times I meet people out here, and I I don't get video on it. And, pisses me off but I'm gonna try to uh, try to get some folks in the video out here but I look forward to that man you know a lot of the van dwellers travel alone and they all will meet up and uh, RVers uh, you don't have to be lonely yet you're out here on the road unless you want to be because there's a, a community of RVers and van dwellers out there that that uh, that you know they, they, they meet each other at uh, uh, RV parks. Uh, I only went to one RV park uh, in Colorado in Cripple Creek and there was no uh, I didn't really get a chance to, to meet the people there. Um, they were like transient. They were in and out and uh, it, it wasn't a real popular RV park but it was an awesome RV park by the way. That was the owner you know that I talked to that I was telling you about. Really awesome and I try to recommend you go guys go out there and visit it. Um, I did include, go check that video out in my uh, Bug Out Van video playlist. You'll see the RV park in there. It's really awesome. But I'm just giving, keep giving you an update here on the road, guys. I'm on, like I said, the road to nowhere. <laughs> the crossroads, man. Guys, right, pull over here to rest stop, getting ready to grab a bite to eat here in the back. Put my screens in. I tell you, this is the best mod I've done to this van so far on my uh, Bug Out Motor Van 2.0. Keeps the flies from flying in here, which last year was really annoying. Here, you gonna play at it? You gonna eat it? That's why I don't like giving her nothing, man. She won't eat it. She'll act like she wants it, and then she don't want it. I tell you, these Basenjis are real funny, finicky. Between the world we see and the things we fear, there are doors. When they are opened, nightmares become reality. Well, it looks like uh, I'm going to stay overnight here in the Best Western parking lot. As I told you guys, I, I like uh, staying overnight in hotel parking lots just because there's minimal to no movement at night uh, it's a fairly safe uh, environment most of the time and uh, I, you know I, I feel much more comfortable and at ease you know, boondocking here in uh, you know in hotel parking lots hey guys I'm here in Illinois close to Iowa I don't know where the fuck I am I'm, I'm in a hotel parking lot but hey guys I'm able to pull up 15 channels 
I tell you guys that that little uh, digital antenna that stays fixed on the roof is absolutely awesome man much better than the setup I had last year I'm gonna make up some some manwich While I'm waiting for dinner to cook, wait that's the vegetables to soften up a bit. I can actually what's awesome about this cabinet is I can prop a pillow up here and sit comfortably and watch some TV while I'm waiting for dinner to cook. Ah, nice and comfortable man. Feels like I'm right at home. Got my wonderful WR250R there. Dinner cooking. The dog's calm and cool, getting ready to go to bed, right, Skittles, go to bed, Skittle diddles, and uh, watch a little TV here while I wait for food to finish up. Okay, dinner is served. I served my sandwich over bread, and I had my salad, drink, and I'll have a dessert to go with this, and the leftovers for tomorrow, I will store in a Ziploc, because that way... I don't have to uh, clean anything. I can dump the Ziploc uh, leftovers onto my plate. Uh, excuse me, into the saucepan there, reheat it, and then put it over some bread for tomorrow. And those are leftovers. Bada boom, bada bang. So now I got to take a shit. So I've got to. Uh, I have a kitty litter, kitty litter in a uh, container here. Just pour a little bit in there. Okay, do my business and then immediately pour a little layer over it again and it completely eliminates the smell. Bag it up, I'll tighten it up real good and throw it in the garbage tomorrow. It doesn't smell in here at all, so thumbs up to the portable toilet. Works like a champ. Don't forget to subscribe to my all in one motorcycle channel over at youtube.com forward slash cycle cruiser and also like me at Facebook. Catch you guys later.